Hi everyone, my name is Maddie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video which is going to be one of, I'm imagining, three vlogs all about trying to hit my Goodreads goal. So for anyone that's been around for a while, you will know it's weird that I'm doing a vlog. All of a sudden I'm feeling like filming one, I've got an idea for this series of three vlogs I'd really like to do leading up to the end of the year. So I'm gonna try and do it. Will I succeed? Probably not, because I keep saying I'm gonna do videos and not doing them, but I wanna give it a go. I wanna give it a go and I feel like vlogging tonight, so we're gonna give it a go. So, premise of this video, it is currently the 27th of November, which means exactly five weeks from today will be the 1st of January 2022. For anyone that doesn't know, I have been in a horrific reading slump and I was gonna say life slump, that's not true, I've just been incredibly busy for the last four to five months and that has resulted in a huge reading slump. I've been reading a little bit here and there but not a whole lot, but in the last month or so I'm starting to get back into it, but very, very slowly. However, I am nine books away from my Goodreads goal, kind of. My Goodreads goal for the year was 52. I hit that so early, so I upped my goal to 101. I have currently read 92 books, so I have nine books left to read before the end of the year. That is a lot in five weeks. I'm normally reading a book every week, maybe likely every two weeks, unless it's a really quick romance. And I have a lot of shit going on because I've got Christmas parties and I'm seeing friends and I'm going away for New Year and I'm going home for my family for Christmas. But I am also off work for like 10 days because of Christmas. So, you know, pros and cons, we'll see what happens. But I would really, 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 really love to hit my Goodreads goal. So I'm gonna try and we're gonna vlog as we go, just like some chill, normal reading vlogs. I'll try and put some other content in about some of the stuff I'm doing and we'll see how it goes. But we're very quickly gonna talk through some of the books I might, might read um, because TBRs are not a thing at the moment. I'm normally figuring out if I want to read a book when I'm about 200 pages into it. Really struggling to figure out my reading mood at the moment. So I've got a lot of books I'm in the middle of and I've decided not to continue with for now because I'm not feeling them. So this list may completely change, but these are the ones that are looking like contenders. Um, and I think I have eight here. So I would need to find one more, but I'm not gonna lie. At least one is probably gonna be a graphic novel, if not more, but we'll see. But first up, we have Jade City by Fonda Lee. I am currently about halfway through this, actually. I'm making pretty good progress. I'm 230 pages in out of 495. So very nearly halfway. And I'm gonna be reading another little chunk of this tonight because Pris is doing her PJ party reading sprints. So I'm gonna go on some of those and get a couple hours of reading done if I can, because, oh my God, how did I not mention this sooner? I've just got back from Manchester from seeing Steph. So Wigan, I guess not Manchester, but nearly Manchester to me who doesn't know the North. I'm seeing Steph, which is amazing. I should have vlogged whilst I was there, but I'm stupid, so I didn't. Um, I think she had one clip of when we first met. So go watch her vlogs from way back when, from whenever you're seeing this. But this is my current read, I'm about halfway through. So first goal is to finish this. I've been reading this for like three weeks now. Um, I read quite a lot of it in the first week, was really enjoying it, and then put it down and did not pick it up at all for two weeks. Um, in that time, I have read two romance books, which I read whilst in Paris a couple weeks ago. Say a couple weeks ago, I got back on Monday and it's Saturday. Time is an enigma, but I've picked this back up. I really want to finish it. As I said, I've put down so many books recently where I've like started them, read 100 pages and put them down. And it's annoying, but it happens. But I really, 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 really don't want to do it with this. So I'm going to try my best to not do it with this. Also, I'm aware that my Illumina creations of these are arriving soon. So I do feel like I should try and at least finish that before they get here, but we'll see. So that's first port of call. The next thing I'm really, really feeling is I just went and bought Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson, which is the third book in the Skywood Quartet. And I, the second Steph reminded me that this book had come out, because I kind of thought it was coming out in December for some reason. The second she reminded me this was out, my brain was like, oh my God, I want to reread Skywood. So I'm going to go home to my family home tomorrow, grab the books, and I'm probably going to try and reread Skywood and Starsight, and then I can read Cytonic. I always find these like really engaging, pretty quick to get through. Two of them are a reread, which makes it a lot easier. So that's very much on the cards to do this whole, I was gonna say trilogy, but it's the first three of a quartet. It's potentially stupid because um, the fourth one will come out maybe next year, we don't know yet. And if it does, then I'll like maybe be too far away to need to reread, but then I'll have to read all three. Normally at this point I'd wait for the fourth book and then read all four, but I just, I'm really excited and I really want to read it because I love this series a lot. So that's a definite option. 
Another one which is not an option, it's one I will be reading, is Wranglestone by Darren Charlton. This is the November and December Burned Books Club pick, so I will be reading this for the Burned Books Club with Spoops, and I'm very excited. It's gay zombies, I don't know much more than that, dystopia, it's gay, apparently it's very good. I'm very excited, it's also absolutely stunning. The UK cover used to look different to this, but then they redesigned it, and I did get the new one when it came out because it's so so pretty. And then two other strong contenders are a reread of Sam of the Wild Built. This is my favourite book I've read so far this year and I'm thinking when I'm on my Christmas holidays I'll have like five six days to just sit and do nothing and I'm really keen to use one of those days to read this really slowly and leisurely and just take it all in and enjoy it and maybe annotate it. Um, I've been wanting to do that since I read it first in February or March so long overdue but I would really love to reread this before the end of the year and obviously it's tiny and similarly Spindle Splintered by Alex E. Harrow again it's tiny I could read this in like an hour or two and it's Alex E. Harrow so I'd love to do that so these will probably be like over the Christmas break nice reads and then we have one other which I'd really like to read especially like on arc of it and it is now out um but you know slumps happen life happens but I'm slightly intimidated by this one and that is A Marvelous Light by Freya Mask this is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, which I've not read, meets Red, White and Royal Blue. Red, White and Royal Blue, which I have read and adore. I actually just reread it last week for the third time. I love it a whole lot. And so this is gay Edwardian England magic. I think I will adore this. Everyone says it is beautifully written and just stunning. I mean, the blurbs are from Alexi e. Harrow and TJ Clune, who obviously I adore both of. So I'm very optimistic about my chances of liking this one, but it just really, really intimidates me for some reason. I just see this and I'm like, I feel like it's gonna be tough to get through and it's not an easy read. So this is a if I have time deal because I'm trying to get through two books a week and I normally read for an hour a week. So let's see how that goes. I do also have the option. I have a couple of audio books, um, which obviously is very unlike me, I, but I only do nonfiction on audio. But I do have Connor Franta's books, both on audio and Note to Self and House Fires. I've read Note to Self before, but I started listening to the audio a while ago because it's almost like mini podcast essays and stuff. So it's really cool. And I'll probably read Note to Self physically, but that's actually another contender because that's a very different kind of book and should be quite quick to get through because it's a lot of poems and pictures and stuff. So yes, those are the vague contenders. Other than Jade City and Wranglestone, I could not read any of them. I might read completely different things. I might read nothing. This might be the only clip of the vlog. Honestly, who the hell knows? Because we all know I'm freaking useless and busy as hell. But we're going to give it a go. So I'm going to go read Jade City for a little bit now and then go on Jade Sprints. For, not Jade Sprints, it's Jade City. Go on Pris's Sprints for a little bit and read some more and then go to bed. And tomorrow is a day of running errands and reading and packing to go up north as every Sunday is. Hello, I am here to interrupt your regularly scheduled programming of a vlog with a quick little bit about who is sponsoring this video. I am absolutely thrilled to say that Anna Luisa will be sponsoring this video. They sponsored a video earlier on my channel. So thank you so much to them for the support for the channel. And I've said it before, I will say it again. I absolutely freaking adore Anna Luisa jewelry. I myself love the stuff I've got from them. I've already ordered more for friends for Christmas because I've had so many of my friends see me wearing it and say like, oh my God, where did you get that? And I'm like, you're not getting a link. It's Christmas. There's actually a massive Christmas sale on at the moment. They've got buy one, get one 60% off and I'm making full use of this sale for me and all my friends for Christmas. So Anna Luisa, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I will show you guys what I got this time because the pieces are stunning and honestly perfect for me for the Christmas season. They're slightly more statementy than the pieces I got last time, which I am still wearing every single day. Honestly, I've still not taken that stuff off from last time, but this stuff's like slightly more statementy, which is perfect for like Christmas parties, which have all been canceled because COVID, but Christmas parties, nonetheless, it's exactly that kind of vibe. So first up, this is the cuff I got last time. I literally still haven't taken it off. I still want to get it pierced, but you can see these here are, uh, I'm gonna have to get really close to the camera to show you these, but I'll take them off and show you. They are these kind of J-shaped gold bar slash snuggy hoop kind of things. There we go. So this is the shape, here we go. So they just look like this. So they're really, really simple, but I think they look so sleek and elegant in. I've styled them just with some really tiny Diamante studs. Um, because I obviously have second low piercings, but honestly, they look fantastic on their own. So just getting really close to the camera for a second, this is what they are. I think they are absolutely stunning and I'm obsessed with this kind of styling. 
The other piece I've got, I'll take this out again to actually put in because they're again a bit more statementy so I wouldn't double up on these two pieces. I would wear them interchangeably depending on what the vibe is. If I was going like sleek and elegant, I would wear those ones and these, if I'm going something a bit more fun, I'll just show you before I put them in. They're these little gold studs with a chain that actually really cool attaches to the butterfly clip. Okay, my camera is really struggling to focus, but hopefully you can see there it attaches to the butterfly clip. I've had ones with little chains before and they hook onto the earring and God, it can just be an absolute nightmare. So I really love the fact that these are actually attached and these just look super cute and dangly. And similarly, I'd probably just style them with this little stud. So I'm obsessed. And then the one other piece I got, you'll probably have seen me when I'm doing those close-ups, is this bracelet. Again, super, super dainty. It's got, let's see if I can show. It's got these little sort of teardrop shaped bits and these teeny tiny little diamond shaped pieces of metal as well. And I think I love on Ana Luisa stuff because it's so unnecessary, but so cool. Okay, getting that to focus was an absolute pain, but you can see it has a little tiny diamante here on the like clasp attachment, which I think is just such a lovely detail. But so I got this piece as well, which matches perfectly with the necklace I got last time, which I'm not currently wearing because it is packed in my suitcase to go up north next week. But I'm obsessed again with all of these pieces. Please check out Ana Luisa. As I said, they have the Christmas sale on at the moment, which is buy one, get one 60% off, which is a huge sale for jewelry, especially as it's already such a fantastic price point for the quality. So go check them out. Thank you again for Ana Luisa sponsoring this video and let's get back into the vlog. Hello, vlog update. Ignore my face and hair. I've basically had to make the executive decision that if I'm going to successfully vlog, I'm gonna to have to get used to doing it with no makeup on. And so we're just going with it. Will I hate it when I'm editing? Yes, but we're gonna do it anyway. Vlog update. It is now Wednesday. I had full intentions of updating you again on Saturday and then on Sunday, and then I'd be on site all week. So I wouldn't be able to vlog and I wouldn't be reading. Well, nothing has gone to plan. Um, so probably about two hours after the first clip of this vlog, I got insanely ill, like insanely ill, um, completely out of nowhere, did not expect it. I was literally on Pris's sprints um, for her PJ party for about half an hour. And then to text like, I'm not feeling very well. I think I'm gonna go. And yeah, that was an understatement to say the least. Um, I won't give gory details, but for context, I did not successfully eat between Saturday afternoon and Tuesday evening. So I was a little bit ill, I haven't been doing too well. Um, but it's fine, feeling much better now. As you can see, I've eaten an inordinate amount of food today because I finally didn't feel queasy and so I ate so much and I'm feeling pretty good for it. Um, but because of all of this, I've been a little bit delirious and all over the place and not with it and therefore a book like Jade City has not been happening, not been happening at all. Um, so I've slightly abandoned that. I know I said I wasn't gonna read anything else until I'd finished Jade City and that would have been true, but I feel like the circumstances allowed it. Um, so I've put that down just for like a few days. I'm picking up again this weekend as soon as I finished my current read. And my current read is Verona Comics by Jennifer Duggan. Anyone who's followed my channel from the start knows I adore this book. I read it spring of last year when it came out and then spoke about nothing else for like five months on my channel. I love this book so much. And I hadn't been planning a reread of it, but I was watching Steph's TBR for December and she mentioned it like in passing. And I was like, oh, I love that book. Let's reread it. <laughs> so I started it last night. I read 76 pages. I've just hit page 110. It's a super quick read. I'll probably read another 50 or so pages tonight and hopefully finish it on Friday evening so I can start Jade City again on the weekend. But I love this book. Uh, very quick synopsis. This follows Jubilee and Ridley who are kids of basically rival comic book stores, comic book companies. And it's a Romeo and Juliet retelling, hence Verona in the title. It's cute, it's angsty. It's a little bit more ridiculous than I remember it being, but I'm still loving it. I remember when I first read it, it deals with a lot of very hard hitting issues like abusive families and codependency in relationships and very unhealthy relationships, which is why I love it so much. Um, but warnings for all of those things. And yes, I'm having a grand old time. It's so quick and easy. It's exactly what I wanna be reading. So I'm gonna continue with it. But this was not the plan. As, as expected, the plan did not happen at all. So we've abandoned the plan completely and now I'm just reading what I want to read. But vlog update two, um, I'm gonna keep going with this vlog. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna get to my Goodreads goal. I just don't know quite in what format that's going to be, evidently. 
Hello, hello. So it has yet again been a few days. It is now Wednesday of the next week. I was so shattered over the weekend. I just didn't vlog and I was away a lot and it was great. I was in London, had a great time. But last time we spoke, I was reading Verona comics. Um, I have now finished this. I finished it on Saturday on the train to London. I still love this book a lot. It was a lot darker and more angsty than I remember. I remember it being like really cute and then having like angst at the end. Very angsty throughout actually, but I still love it. I still think it's a phenomenal book. Very different tone to what I remember, but nonetheless amazing. So I had a great time. But then I didn't have a book to read on the way home from London. You know, I couldn't possibly read one of the Kindle books I have on my phone like a sensible person. And you know, was in London, so I was gonna go book shopping anyway. I'll do a, maybe like a mini haul later because I got four books. But I will tell you about this one because it's one I'm currently reading. And this is 100% because of Steph from Steph Loves. Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. Um, a week or so ago? Two weeks? Not quite sure. Steph picked this up and read 200 pages in one night and told me about it and said she thinks I would love it because it's also following stuff about like stats and science a bit, which I love because I'm sciencey. So I'm currently reading this. I am currently 117 pages in. I'm having a great time with it. It's really getting into it now. Um, I'm probably not gonna read very much tonight, but I am work from home and I have a free weekend. So this vlog will go to the end of this week. Um, and in that time, I should at least finish this and hopefully Jade City. Even if I don't finish it, I'm making progress in Jade City. I swear to God, the this video series was meant to be me reading like nine books for the end of the year. At this point, it's just read Jade City. I just need to read Jade City. I'm not letting that book go unfinished to the end of the year. Won't happen, I'm gonna do it. But for now, more romance. So I'm gonna go read this for a bit and I'll check in with you tomorrow. Hello, so it is Thursday evening. It is about 9 p.m., 9.20ish. I've just finished work for the day. Completely self-inflicted, I might add. Um, I've been so exhausted from the week that I really struggled with working today and I'm really behind as well because I was on training for three days, meaning I haven't been working so far this week, which is like allowed, but nonetheless means I'm very behind. So we had a mega shift to pull and I was very inefficient all day, so it took me until now, but it's done. And honestly, although I don't love working till 9 p.m., I'm really glad it's done it is a huge weight that has been weighing on me for about three weeks now. Um, this work that needed finishing and stuff keeps getting in the way. So I've just spent the evening, got it done. I did watch a film whilst doing it. I watched The Happiest Season, which is a very queer uh, Christmas film. I did watch a queer Christmas film yesterday as well. I watched Single All The Way, great fun. I'm having a great time um, with my queer Christmas films, honestly. I love Christmas movies so much, but now it's time to read. My hope was to finish this tonight when I thought I was gonna have a lot more time to read, but I'm thinking that will not happen. I'm on page 138 out of 350-ish, 360. So I've got over 200 pages left, which I don't think I'll manage tonight, especially as I also need to do laundry and ideally should wash my hair, but we'll see if that happens. Um, so I'm gonna read a good chunk of this, but I won't finish it, but I really want to finish it tomorrow because well, I mentioned earlier in this vlog that I was going to read Jade City all weekend. And I'm not saying I'm not going to, but I have had another idea and I'm useless. So basically I've got a completely free weekend. This is the first time in months that I've had a free weekend and is the last time before Christmas that I have a free weekend. So I really want to make the most of it. And I know I'm going to be tired and I'm going to want to really chill and do practically nothing other than like do some errands, which I've not been able to do because I've not had any time to. So I'm kind of wondering whether to set myself the challenge of like reading a book a day and read two romances over the weekend. It'll get me a lot closer to my Goodreads goal than just a bit of progress for Jade City, especially as I will then still read Jade City. And I've got some really fun ones. So I actually have two other Christina Lauren books, Trust and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating and Roomies. I have a Taylor Jenkins read. I've not read Taylor Jenkins read or I've not read a new Taylor Jenkins read in a really long time. and. I love her books. I have You Had Me at Ola, which I'm very excited for. And I've seen recently some amazingly rave reviews for, like I did see loads ages ago, but for some reason it suddenly seems to be having a resurgence. So it's got me back interested. And I have a new Talia Hibbert, which I bought when I was in London last weekend. Um, I do have this on my iPad, but I like physical books. And I one day will own all of Talia Hibbert's books because I adore them. And that would be a super quick read. So I'm very much considering doing like 
where even is it like Taylor Dunker's read on Saturday and Talia Hibbert on Sunday or something like that or whatever I'm damn well feeling. Um, so this may just become a week of reading romance vlog but we'll see. I might read Jade City. I might do all of the above. I do have two whole days but I also am guaranteeing I'll sleep a lot of those two days. So we'll see but for tonight I'm gonna go read The Soulmate Equation. I almost certainly won't finish it but hopefully I can make a decent dent. I realized I didn't even say if I was enjoying this. I'm still really enjoying this. It's fantastic tension. I kind of want it to get to them not hating each other a little bit, um, which like we're getting there. We're getting there for sure. But like, I want to see them being cute together because they're going to be freaking adorable together. Um, and it's just taking a touch too long to get there. But that's also because I'm reading it really slowly, whereas I'm used to reading romance in like a day or two. So it feels a lot quicker. So I just need to keep reading. But can they be cute already, please? Hello, I really need to find some other spots to vlog because I swear to God I'm always just on this one sofa and it's really very boring. But for tonight we're going with it. So it is Friday evening um, and I have a reading update. So I have finished reading the soulmate equation which I just damaged by dropping on the floor and it's dented it and pulled some of the laminate off but it is what it is. I just finished reading this, well I finished it a few hours ago now. Great fun, four stars, really easy read. The love interest was adorable, not as steamy as I would have hoped really hoping there'd be more steam in this. There was like a couple kind of fade to black scenes and that was it, which is a little bit disappointing, but nonetheless very cute. Had me grinning like an idiot, did make me cry because it was so adorable, especially the use, the use, that sounds bad, like the inclusion of the daughter in the story. Very, very cute, very good, highly recommend, four star fun. What am I reading next? I have been debating this. I've been watching TV so far this evening instead of reading. What is my hair doing? It's annoying me. I don't know, something like that. Um, <laughs> what am I reading now? I should read, read Jade City and I got really tempted because my Lou McRae editions arrived today. And although I'm still gonna read the paperback, they are kind of stunning. So this is Jade City, which is so pretty. And then we have Jade War and Jade Legacy, which are also stunning. We've got spine and edges and then turning it around spine and edges, they're super pretty. And it has made me back to like, oh my God, I love this series, I wanna read it, I'm really enjoying it. But I'm tired, I know I'm gonna be tired tomorrow and I know I don't have that much time tomorrow because I'm going out in the morning and maybe like the first half of the afternoon to do errands and possibly gonna go to the cinema with my mum. We'll see how the day takes us. So I think I'm gonna pick up The Roommate Risk next because it's quite short, it's like sub 300 pages. I think 250 pages. It's Talia Hibbert, so I know it will read fast and I know it will have smut because Talia Hibbert, they're not like crazy smutty, but they normally have smut, which I felt like I missed out on on Soulmate Equation. So I'm going to read this tomorrow and then depending on how I'm feeling Sunday, I will either pick up another romance or another book or go back to Jade City. But for tomorrow and tonight, Remote Risk. I'm really excited. I know nothing about this one. Oh my god, okay, so this follows two people who've been best friends for seven years and it seems the main guy is in love with the main girl, who I think is who we're following more closely, Jasmine, and for some reason they end up moving in together. That's gonna get tense. I'm excited. I literally read like two pages of this earlier before sitting down to watch some TV and already I love the main characters. It's Talia Hibbert. I know I'm going to. I've loved every single thing of hers that I've read and eventually I will have read them all, but that's my next read. I'm gonna go read a bit of this. It's quite late, it's like half past 10, so I probably won't read very much tonight. Maybe read like 30 to 50 pages, and then I'll crack on with it tomorrow and see if we can get it read tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Hello, quick update. It is Saturday. It is almost 3 p.m. I am currently on Steph's sprints. I was in town this morning and hanging out with my mum for a bit and did loads of errands and useful life stuff that needed doing, and now I have like a completely clear two days to do whatever I want. I'm reading The Roommate Risk. I think I mentioned that The Soulmate Equation was just very slightly let down because it had no smut. This delivered in the first three pages. This is so good so far. The tension between Jasmine and Rahul is insane and I'm loving it. Absolutely obsessed. Um, cannot wait to continue reading this. However, I'm freaking exhausted so I'm gonna have a nap for a bit of this sprint and then get back to reading it. I'm 44 pages in. Honestly, it just went straight in with the smart in chapter one and I love it. It was properly good as well. Like only really brief, but oh, I remember why I love Talia Hibbert so much. Her characters are amazing. The smut is fantastic. All of it is great. I'm so excited to keep reading this. I'm pretty confident I can finish it today. I've got 200 pages left, which is probably like 
three-ish hours of reading. So I'll probably nearly finish it by the time we're done with sprints, to be honest, um, if, as long as I don't keep falling asleep. But just then I read 15 pages before needing to go to sleep, so I'm gonna have a nap. But it's so good. It's so good. Hello, so it is currently about 1 p.m. on Sunday. I have taken full liberty with what a lazy start to a Sunday looks like. It's been much needed. I've needed a day to do literally nothing. So I did wake up at eight, and then by half eight decided that no, I did not want to be awake at this time, so I went back to sleep till about 11. And then kind of very slowly woke up at about 12, properly, like actually got off my phone and decided what I was going to read next because I did finish the Talia Hibbert book last night, which we'll buy that in a second. But now it's one and I've only read a tiny bit and I did have another nap. So I'm actually up for the day now, I hope. We'll see. I'm just really tired. I <laughs> just really needed a day to nap and do nothing one morning. And it feels great. But I did finish The Roommate Risk last night. I had completely forgotten that this book used to be called Wanna Bet. And it's really funny knowing that because that phrase is used a lot throughout the book. And like you can see how that was the title originally. And you can also kind of see why it got changed. Um, so it was very like a pick a key line out of the book and use it as the title kind of vibes. Not that that's a bad thing, I quite like when that happens, but it was just funny. I love this, five stars, Tali Hibbert did it again. I adore her books. I'm literally gonna go buy even more now. Obviously I've read all three of the Brown Sisters books. I've read The Princess Trap, I've read this. I've read some Christmas novellas she has as well. So I've read a lot of her work now, but I need to actually just go out and buy the rest of her books because I adore them and they're never gonna let me down, I don't think. So she did it again. I finished this at like half 11 last night and then went to sleep. So that's great. And then I was really debating what to read today. Part of me was like, do I just read another romance? Do I start like Skyward by Brandon Sanderson? Because I did specifically go pick up those books so I could read that. Now the third one's out. Like, I didn't know, I couldn't decide. Um, but I decided to be a responsible adult and actually read Jade City. I have read 35 pages, 25 pages so far this morning, so not a huge amount. And I have just under, just over 200 pages left. Will I get this finished today? I don't know. It's quite a slow read for me, so that's at least four to five hours of reading with over 500 pages. Over 500? God almighty, over 200 pages left. That's about five hours of reading, um, which is a lot because I do have some life admin to do today, mainly packing to go up to work and editing this video because I do kind of want to close this video off today. I would love to finish Jade City. I don't know if it will quite happen, but I'm going to try. Um, I do, I'm really enjoying this book. I feel like the number of times I've mentioned it and said I'm not picking it up has made it seem like I don't like this book. I am really enjoying it. It's just, I've been in a massive slump for months as everyone knows. And part of that has been fantasy. Like I've been avoiding fantasy completely and utterly and been reading romance and contemporary and very slightly speculative things. Um, but basically I've only been reading those. And so even though this is urban fantasy, it's close enough to fantasy that it's really intense for me and quite difficult for me to get through, but I am really enjoying it and I really want to read it. So gonna try and finish this today. Wish me luck. I'll catch up with you when I've actually read a little bit more of it. Okay, so it is now about 4 p.m. and I'm struggling. I am, as I said earlier, exhausted. So I keep falling asleep um, and having a very intense book is not helping that. I have managed about 65 pages of Jade City today, meaning I still have 200 left, which I'm not going to finish today unless miracles happen, which they won't because I still have other life stuff to do, which will take up a few hours this evening. And I'm just sat there like, I probably have maybe two hours more where I can read intensely before I need to get on with other life stuff. And I have these books staring at me and I'm like, do I just abandon Jade City for the day and just accept that I'm gonna have to do it in 50 page stints like each weekend until I'm finally done with it? Or do I keep trying to power through and get another like 50 pages done today? Or do I switch to a book which I might read like 200 pages of today? And I know it's like quantity over quality, but I'm also like, I have this weekend to read. Do I want to use it all reading a book that I'm really struggling with? Especially as like, I'm going to finish Jade City before the end of the year. I've got like 10 days off over Christmas. I can definitely get it done, even if I do 10 pages a day on that break. But therefore, do I pick up one of these today? I don't know. I'm so torn. I might put it on Instagram and see what you guys will say to do because I'm really stuck. 
Okay, it is now Sunday evening, the vlog is ending, we had not a lot of success since I last spoke to you. So when I last spoke to you, I was about to go to Instagram and ask, should I read romance or should I try and read Jade City? I went to Instagram, you all came through and said romance, and when I asked you which romance, it was tied for ages between Christina Lauren and Taylor Jenkins Reid, and then I think Christina Lauren ended up winning by quite a landslide, but um, that was four or five hours ago. I've not picked up a book, not at all. I've watched a movie, I've watched a rom-com, I've had some food, I've edited most of this vlog. I've not read anything. I'm probably not gonna read anything more today. If I do, it'll be like a little bit this evening. So we're gonna wrap up the vlog, do some quick reflections, and then we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna end this vlog here for today. But don't worry, there will be two more vlogs in this series. So we will continue the getting to the Goodreads goal together. So. What did I manage to read this week? Well, in the last two weeks, which is roughly how long this vlog's been going. I read Verona Comics, which was a reread, and I loved it. I read The Soulmate Equation, super fun rom com kind of romance. And I read The Roommate Risk by Talia Hibbert, so one of my favourite authors. So we had three fantastic reads. I did also make 60 pages of progress in Jade City. It's not much, but it's something. But that does mean, in total, we have got down from nine books to my Goodreads goal, to six books to my Goodreads goal which is really promising, especially as one of those books is Jade City. And then I've got Alex Harrow, which is really tiny. I'll probably read a graphic novel. I do actually have a graphic novel I need to read because it's the third one in a series. And so I need to finish that series out before the end of the year. And so then it's only like three other books and I do have some time off over Christmas. So it's feeling very attainable. I'm feeling pretty good about the last two weeks of reading. I can't remember the last time I read three books in two weeks, even if they're fun and easy ones. And I'm getting to a point where this is seeming less and less intimidating just because, you know, I have 200 pages left now. 200 pages isn't that much of a book, so that's not too terrifying, I say. It'll still take me till Christmas to read the damn thing, but I'm doing it slowly. So that is the video. Pretty successful so far. We're feeling good about reaching this Goodreads goal, but keep watching. The next one will be up in a couple weeks or so for hopefully the next three or so books and then there'll be another one up at the end of the year hopefully saying I reached my Goodreads goal. So wish me luck, bye, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.